Alright guys, welcome to another playthrough on this channel. And yeah, we're gonna be starting a game that I've known for a while. For a release, Tales of Arise. Now then, I know before I'm gonna say something, but please don't get mad if this triggers you. Alright? This is one of the games I'm looking forward to, but at the same time, this is one of the games where I'm, I have low expectations of. One, I'll give you my first reason. One, this game took so long that the last game was made for Syria was 2017. And then after that it was just mobile games, it was just like a waste of time for their, their damn company. <laughs> And don't worry, I have played Tales games before. I played Vesperia, I played Zillia 1 and 2, Zestiria, Berseria. I haven't played that much Tales games, but I, I will say that Zillia is probably... The Zillia series is probably the best Tales game in the world. And this is just me saying this from only playing a few Tales games, but I think those... those those games are literally the best. So, we'll see where this game ranks in Tales series. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how far we can go. Oh yeah, this playthrough will feature commentary and no commentary. So like, you're gonna see some parts, episodes where like, there has commentary and then episodes that no commentary because I just wanna play it on my off screen time as I record. And yeah, let's get started. And also, this is going to be the second PS5 game. That will be straight... Genshin doesn't really count because it's usually a PS4 game. But like, this is this is Tales of Arise. This is the second PS5 game I'm, I'm playing or, or re I'm recording. This game has an autosave function. I Alright, hopefully this doesn't, you know, copyright claim me. I will say, it has some Black Clover theme vibes to it, which is pretty nice. But then again, this is a game after all. Except... Except... I accept... Voice selection... Download shop... So I'll be- I'll actually want to figure out what the the DLC stuff are in the- like after this part comes out. So I'll be searching that up at least. So yeah, let's get started. Difficulty... 
is this is story difficulty normal moderate hard we're gonna try normal see how that works and then if it gets a bit too easy then we could switch this to moderate Input Q time. Hi, hi, hi. Fix story. Fix map. Story on. Subquest on. Subtitles on. All right. We'll see about the camera controls. Battle camera. Music. Button binding, stereo, surround, frame rate, prioritize frame rate tips. Alright, let's begin. If there's any settings, I'll let you guys know. Or, literally, yeah. In ages long past, it was believed that Mother Dana was indestructible and everlasting. Rena, on the other hand, was thought to be the domain of the gods, a paradise where the souls of the departed could rest forevermore. Oh, how wrong we were. In the face of Rena's unimaginable technology, its soldiers clad in huge, shining armor, and its fearsome beasts known as Zoogles, the prosperity and bounty of Dana all but disappeared overnight. That was 300 years ago. The world of Dana fell under Renin rule, and its new masters split the land into five distinct realms. Ooh. And now today, Orbis Calaglia, one of the Renin's five realms. It is ruled over by the tyrant Balsam, Lord of the Firemaster Corps. Oh. Unrelenting fire scorches this barren wasteland. Dust storms course over the rocks and crags, and no relief is to be found from the oppressive heat. The Danon people toil as slaves. Day after day they suffer, under the ruthless oppression of the Renin soldiers, with only one hope of escape. Death. Death. Only in death is their agony finally brought to an end. They have forgotten what it means to be free. So complete is the Renin's domination. Jesus. Uh, Iron Mask? Why you? Let me. Huh. What is this? Some kind of slave support group? Mind your own business, you work All with- Alright! Third squad! Time to regroup! Go on, get moving! Hey, wait for me! Hmm. Thank 
Thank you, Iron Mask. That's okay, Cole. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Iron Mask, you... you're bleeding. Hmm? We need to get you looked at by Doc. That bad, huh? Better safe than sorry, I suppose. This is very interesting. No loiter in there. Alright. Okay, camera's fine. However, the zoom is a... The zoom? I want to remove the zoom. I'm so sorry, Iron Man. You got hurt because of me. Don't sweat it, kid. It's not like I felt anything. That's why the doctor tells you to act be extra careful, doesn't he? Yeah, but at the end of the day, I chose to stick my neck out for you, and I don't regret a thing. So don't sweat it, Cole, okay? Okay, thanks, Iron Mask. <sighs> I doubt Doc's gonna like what he sees. I need to have Doc check me out first. These guards are, like, interesting. Ah, you again. Sorry to trouble you, Doc. Hmm. <laughs> Look after yourself, and there'd be no need for sorries, would there? Now sit. So, still unable to remember anything, I take it? Blank as always. Nothing but that strange dream. No face, no memories. Unable to feel pain, yet only too eager to take on everybody else's. What will we do with you? Here, let me see. You may not be able to feel pain, but that doesn't mean you can't be wounded, just like everyone else. I'm not if getting the phone. If you're not more careful, you'll wind up dead without even realizing it one of these days. I watched another slave die today. More corpses than I care to count. Unfortunately, that's hardly a rare sight around these parts. Danons are always dying. And the Renans just watch. How long can this continue? Why doesn't anyone stand and fight? Keep your voice down, will you? Well, <sighs> gonna make what we do can If only here. it were so simple, my friend. There have certainly been uprisings, all right. Three centuries worth of the damn things. As for all the good they've done, take a look around and judge for yourself. <sighs> there. That should just about do it. Now, do me a favor and try to stay out of trouble so the wound doesn't open again. Doc, back when I knew nothing, you were the one who taught me just how things work around here. You know I'll always be grateful for that, but I can't just... The race is won by the calm and the steady. You're still young and you have time. Wait for the right moment, both for yourself and the world. Work will be wrapping up for the day soon enough. Don't sit around here. Go out and feel the breeze against your skin. Even a slave's entitled to that. Just do me a favor and keep a low profile, all right? You stand out enough in that mask as it is. Guess I'll go back to my room. Alright, now that's out of the way. Ah, yes, the classic Tales map. Rest in your assigned bed. There's a ladder here. There's another ladder here. Interesting. Oh, yeah! Something they brought, something that they never bring out in the Tales games. Jumping! No, this is a huge deal because we never, you never jump in Tales games, but it's just usually just dashing or running around. I'm like, hell yeah, I can't believe they brought jumping to the game. This is the first time I've seen it. Alright, six and weird sounds on our bodies, then work us to the bone until we're dead. As if rooting balloons are. For them weren't enough, they literally, they're really in a bad mood. They like to zick their zookos on us. 
I'm a slave, just like everyone else here. So how come I don't have a spirit core? Or a face, or memories for that matter? Not like worrying about it'll change anything. Hmm. So one thing I know in Tales games, so yeah, no matter how many times you've seen them, you always find random Leganegus leg hanging up in the sky. Hate it. They're, it's like they're watching over us, keeping an eye on our every move. Leganegus is something else. There's no way we can ever beat Renans, and they can build floating castles like that. So one thing I'm gonna point out is that Tales games need to be more dark. Like, if you gotta have a good Tales game, you gotta have a very good start. Or else it's not gonna hold up. Listen, the bastards do to you. Don't even think about fighting against them, Bright Eyes. Got it? I know, I know. Not like as anyone has a chance. Her being one of those soldiers or the Zukos, let alone Lord Balseth. Should don't talk to us about this in public, you two. Who knows what they'll do if you hear you guys. I should get some rest. There's one thing... There's one thing for certain. Ah, now, okay. This is way different. So, saving... You need to find the save icon... ...around the map. That's not the case here. You can now save, like... Now you can literally just save, like, you know... Costumes... Awesome set. Weapon skin. There's a lot of things. Let's hope this their dev time was worth it at least. And their mobile games were not worth it at all. Alright, let's rest. I wonder how many people have slept in this bed before me. Mine for now, but for how long? Tomorrow's another day. I guess I should get some shut eye. I'd better head to work. So I've got business with the freight train today, huh? Great. Here we can get going on free hauling duties today. Okay. Great. Time to start another day toiling away for the Renners. When are we gonna fight back? Until the day I die. It's only a matter of time to if we learn how to fight back. But, we'll see. Look lively, slaves! Let's see some work around here! Jesus. Killed him.
Jesus. The girl's nowhere to be found. Man, this hurts. Hey, Bennett, did you find anything? Not yet, sir. What do they expect from us on such short notice? Huh. From that high up. Over there! Don't move! Go now! Huh? Hurry, get moving! Stay still! You cost us a lot of trouble, you know. Now we can do this the easy way, or not. <laughs> I guess this is our only way to escape. Now's our chance. It's just you. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> they brought another train just for us? Jesus, our weapon sucks. And he's dead. Another train? Jeez. Hope you can jump. your chance to become lord which means you lot live and die for me the mighty balsav got that through your skulls now hurry up and bring me shion yes, yes sir, sir. <laughs> even the drinks lost its appeal someone's in a bad mood Lord O'Wolsey, ruler of Orbis Calaglia. Ah, but it's wild beast you prefer, isn't it? Do forgive me. Ganabelt Volkiris, what do you want? From what I hear, you seem to be having some trouble over there in Calaglia. As a fellow lord, I merely thought to ask whether I could be of any assistance to you. Enough with the false pretense. I can tell a rat when it's sniffing around. Forgive me, I can only imagine the emotional toll failing to ascend the throne not once but twice must take. A most distressing state of affairs. Shut up! It's none of your concern. The crown contest is proceeding apace, and so quickly, I must say. It won't be long before the victor is crowned as the new sovereign. I look forward to it, and you can be sure I won't forget our little chat. Nor will I. Until next time.
You awake? Who are you? The name's Tilsa. I'm the medical officer for the Crimson Crows. You're in one of our safe houses. Crimson Crows? Don't tell me you've never heard of us. We're the Resistance, for the Danon people. We get in the way of the Bright Eye's best laid plans. The Danon Resistance? I didn't know such a thing existed. Oh, we exist all right. Though I guess we're not as famous as I thought we were. Seems like I know more about you than the other way around, Mr. Iron Mask. Is it true you can't take that thing off? Yeah. Worse is that I don't even know why I'm wearing it. That woman I was with. Oh, yeah. She's quite the character, isn't she? Zephyr should be interrogating her over in the Slammer as we speak. You locked her up? Why? Why? Go take a look for yourself if you're so interested. They're interrogating her? Just what the hell is going on? We're already several minutes or... I need to go and find out yeah. for myself. We haven't even gone to the combat tutorial yet. Crimson Crow's leader. Jail. Zephyr is interrogating. We fighting. Balsef. All right, this will be interesting because, like, this is a very unique Tales game, to be sure. That's for sure. There's a lot of elements that they added. Then is what different from past Tales games. Ah, damn it! So it wasn't a lie. The slightest touch is like being struck by lightning. What are you doing? So you're finally awake, huh? What's going on here? What did she ever? Mind your business. So even if you don't mean to hurt somebody, if they touch you, they get electrocuted, huh? It doesn't seem to be poison or magic. Is this the reason Balsef's soldiers were after you? <laughs> For the last several days, Balsef's forces have been getting pretty restless. When we looked into it deeper, the word thorns came up over and over again. And now, we come across Miss Prickly herself. Hmm. Drop the attitude. Did you really think we wouldn't find out anything about you? Miss Shion Imeris? <laughs> That's her name? You mean she's... What? You didn't figure it out already? Yeah, that's right. This lady's got herself a surname. Which means one thing. She's a Renan, our enemy. Yeah, but she was being chased by Renan soldiers. So then, why? That's exactly what we're trying to figure out. After all, aside from the clothes they wear, there's only one way to tell a Danon from a Renan, and that's whether their eyes light up or not. Ain't that right, Bright Eyes? Big talk for someone who can't even use astral arts. Embedded. Don't you call us embedded! Look, you see the stone your people embedded in me? There isn't one, because we gouged them out the day we swore to rise up against your kind! Scars a reminder. Not to rest until every last Faith. one of you is. We Danons may not be capable of using astral arts, but it looks like those thorns of yours won't do you much good in escaping here either. Still, inflicting pain on anyone who comes near you, that's one hell of an ability. You're wrong. You think this curse. Is some kind of great ability? <laughs> Curse. Fair enough. All I know is Balsef must have his eye on you for a damn good reason. And until we find out why... 
Oh the no. They found they us. They must have tracked us down. Evacuate his plan. Hurry. And bring the girl. She gives you any trouble, wave a spear in her face. I got it. Hey, Iron Mask. Sorry, but right now it's everyone for themselves. What about you? I'm going to welcome our guests. Don't go dying on me. Come on, move. And don't try anything funny. Looks like we got ourselves a sword, but not the greatest looking sword, but it'll do for now. Dull sword. Enemy attack! An ambush? Red ends are here? I have to find an exit and get the hell out of here. Anyone who can fight, grab a weapon! Damn! How did they find out about this place? Have these kinds of battles been going on his entire time? I just didn't know. Stop right there! Ah, uh, yes. It's only a matter of time. Oh, it's just a Danon. You there! Where's the Renan girl who was here? Well, I... Spit it out! I want an answer, insurgent! How's this for an answer? Go to hell! You dare address a Renan armored soldier that way? I'll show you embedded! Ah, uh, yes, finally. Basic combat controls. Press R1 to perform a normal attack. At first, you can string up to three normal attacks together. By learning certain skills, this limit can be increased. Characters can also attack in midair after jumping. Arts. Triangle, square, or X are assigned to each button. While AG will... Part of your arts gauge. While your arts gauge will gradually restore automatically. Restore some more slowly while when attacking. Baiting. Push... Push the left stick and press R2 to wait in attack. In, in attack. Talk or die. So much for playing nice. All right, we're up. A real fight. Still, I have to do this. I won't go quietly. I'm not done. Hit, hit, hit. You're mine. Die. You're finished. Rising wyvern. I wonder how you guard, unless you can't guard. I see. I won. I actually beat one of those Renin soldiers. I gotta keep going. I have to survive this no matter what. No victory celebration. <laughs> no, this is not the Tales game I know, because there's no victory celebration. Apple What's gel. So about the combat, it'll be take a while to get used to, but I haven't figured out what the guard button is. It'd be interesting to see how many combos I can pull off with not just this combo. Xion V. Mare, I Maris Daymore. 
I hereby detain you in the name of His Excellency Lord Balsam. Damn it! Throw down I was your so weapon. close. Well, she has a gun. <laughs> What the? You've got some kind of death wish? Those are armored soldiers, you're- Shut up and get out of here while you still can! Step aside, slave. These are Renan affairs you're meddling in. Hey! We've got a better chance working together. Besides, I don't much feel like being indebted to a Janin. Fine, suit yourself. Combos. Combos are strung together. No gats, no more attacks have a set limit, while arts can continue until the AG runs out. No more attacks count separately on the ground and in the air. Using an art to go between them thus extend the combo. Diminishing returns and com During the, the combo, if the same art is used multiple times within 4 actions, its penetration will decrease and enemies will recover from it sooner. Continually doing so will raise its pe these penalties makes arts half as effective at their harshest. Word to the wise, I call my own shot. Just stay out of my way and we'll get along quite well. <laughs> kind of new for me if you had noticed. Don't expect any promises. I'm not done! Got Rising <laughs> One more! Ah! Swallow blade! And a <laughs> Is there really no Why did guard? You help me? What could a Danon like you possibly gain from helping a Renan like me? Trust me, I've no great love for Renans. I guess I'm just not as consumed with hatred as some. What? Have we met somewhere before? Me? Friends with a Danon? Can't say I've had the pleasure. Well, when you put it like that, yeah, silly question. I don't remember anything about my past. Don't have any clues to go on either. Not even my own face. Let me get this straight. You don't know what you look like, but you thought I might somehow recognize you? <laughs> Something like that. Guess my helping you back there wasn't as self-sacrificing as I made it out to be. Besides, I can't feel pain anyway, so it's not like... Wait. You really can't feel pain? Uh, yeah. It's just another thing I don't have. No pain, no face, no memories. I only know one thing about myself, and that's that I'm a slave. What about your name? You must have one, right? Iron Mask. Iron Mask. Got the name from the person who found me. Said that this way, I wouldn't forget I had a real name out there somewhere. I see. So where to next? Outside, silly. What do you think we fought all this way for? Stay well. sharp. We're going in. Alright. So we're in this far already. But... Arts screen. Three arts to use in the air for a total of six equipable arts. L2 to art to expect the arts available. Press square to uncheck the arts you wish for them to avoid. Ah. Wonder how much like combos can we get out of it? And it and the game tells you which goes up because this you can tell rising wyvern is basically like a swallow flight Mirage is basically get, get down like a disintegration All right, we're gonna save real quick All right, Let's keep going However, what bothers me, I can't see my HP, which is pretty weird. Glad to see you made it. I heard you managed to escape, but I didn't expect to see old Iron Mask with you. In any case, we're all wanted by the Renans. It'll be easier for everyone if you both just come with me. 
Where are the others? They're waiting for us up ahead. Come on. <laughs> oh, what the? They have us surrounded! Stay where you are, dissidents! Just look at all these soldiers. How badly did they want to destroy this hideout? Apprehend the traitor! Slaughter the rest! Look out! Already? Flame sword. Who blazing sword? But how? Impossible. The master core. He was embedded within her all along. No matter. Kill her if you have to. Just retrieve the core. Master! <laughs> Power. You okay? Jesus, your arm. Your arms! Hmm? Oh, yeah. How about that? Guess it's just as well I can't feel it, huh? You're not in agony? Wait, are you serious? Hold still. Huh? It's one of my healing arts. A sword that sears the hand of he who wields it, and a healing art to mend. A man numb to pain, and a woman whose very touch deals nothing but. Thank you. <sighs> All right, let's rout the bastards and finish them off before the surviving stragglers have a chance to regroup. Iron Mask, you coming? Definitely. I'm not about to go back all that way alone. So I guess you're not planning on releasing me, huh? Sorry. You're coming with us. In that case, there's one thing you should know. No one uses that flaming sword without my say-so. You needn't worry on that score. I doubt many of us could get close to it in the first place. Or would want to. The blazing sword. It just might be strong enough to match the power of a lord. No, maybe even to surpass it. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, what do you mean? Your wound. That soldier nailed you pretty good. Not to mention those flames bursting from you. They only hit my master core, so I'll be fine. Seriously? And the <laughs> flames weren't even hot. It's probably because they're just a manifestation of the astral energy. Honestly, I'm more surprised that you really are incapable of feeling pain. Did you think I was faking? No, I believed you. I guess seeing you stay calm while bearing those burns to your hands just really made it hit home for me. It's ironic, 
I have no problem hurting anyone who touches me. But as soon as I try to wield that sword, it's me who gets hurt. Do you wish you were impervious to pain too? You realize you could burn your fingers off without even noticing, right? So what? All I need right now is power. And up until now, I haven't come across anything stronger than that blazing sword the whole time I've been doing this. You really don't care what happens to you as long as you get what you're after, do you? Don't talk like you know me. Uh. <sighs> you... <sighs> you're right. I don't get you. I don't get why you're so quick to throw it all away. Not when us slaves have never had a choice in whether we lived or died. <sighs> well, this is off to a fun start. Shion specializes in gun long-range strikes and astral arts. Use her to hit enemies from a safe distance. And use healing arts on allies with low HP. Healing arts cost SP CP to use, so mind your CP total. When, sh when, sh when Shion's auto mode, when auto mode is enabled, Shion will primary target flying, astral, and art wielding enemies, as well as foes with lower HP during combat. Cure points. Arts with cure points with healing support for consume cure points in addition to eight art gauge. CP is shared across his party and we restore with items or staying at an inn or campground. We raise by leveling up or find specific items. Ah, cure points. Can you even see out of that thing? Like, at all? Of course I can. How else do you think I manage to avoid tripping everywhere I go? What is that thing anyway? It doesn't look like anything Dan and I've ever seen. Beats me. I don't remember anything about my past. When I came to, I was already wearing it. If I could get it off, I would. Damn thing makes it hard to eat. I can't scratch my face when it itches. It's the worst. Honestly, I'm just impressed you've managed to survive this long looking like that. I'm sure you attract attention wherever you go. Most of the other Danans don't pay it any mind. It's in everyone's best interest to just keep their heads down, focus on their work, and pretend they don't notice. What about the Renan soldiers? Didn't they notice? The guards? They're more the kill first, ask questions later type. Be in the wrong place or step out of line and you're dead. Mask or no mask. That said, as long as you keep your head down and don't cause trouble, they mostly ignore you. Honestly, sometimes they don't look all that keen to stir up trouble themselves. A friend of mine said it's because if they kill us without a good reason, it could delay the work and put them behind schedule. At that point, it'd be their necks on the line. You should know more about all that than me though, right? I don't serve any of the lords, but I see what you mean. After three centuries of run and rule without much upheaval, it's possible the soldiers might be losing their edge. All this trouble we've caused might be the first excitement they've had in a while. Well, I don't plan on getting killed for their amusement. I will be honest, though. I'm not really liking the skits. I mean, sure. You guys, if you guys saw my Scarlet Nexus playthrough, you would notice the, these skits can work. But that's because it was Scarlet Nexus. But this is a Tales game. For a Tales game, you expect 2D. Here. Get a move on. We're moving to another base. Our cover's been blown here. Get a move on. We're moving to another base. Yeah, I rather like the 2D on the skits. But I can't believe they removed the 2D. Land of Brimstone and Swirling Ash, Orbis Calaglia. That's... Glanamede Castle. Stronghold of Lord Balseth. Self-imposed ruler of all Calaglia. I've never seen it from this close before. That's it, all right. And next to it are the Gates of Fire. Take a good long look while you still can. That wall is what we've come to tear down. 
The only thing standing between us and freedom. Freedom. Let's go. Okay. Be careful. If you get close to a Zoogle, they'll attack. The change party leader. First aid, resurrection, magna ray. Interesting. Strategy. Course. Triangle to can switch between strategies, of course. Fight aggressively, focus on healing. Use support arts to fight. Use healing arts when in danger. LA HP 58% or less. Okay. I see. So these are the actions, sort of. You can create your own action if you like. That's what I've saw from like past Tales games. Anyways. During combat, press well, press pause while in the menu. Change your character's control mode. Semi-auto auto me moves until attack range full control. Fights based on set strategy. Semi-auto is designed for player only wish to casually dabble in combat. Meanwhile, manuals for those seeking full control. While auto mode lets the game take the reins. Change characters who you wish to fight as well. What the press trigger will trigger their boost attack. Plus L1 or R1 during combat to change who you control. Battle control semi auto. Oh, manual. Here I come. You're finished. You're surrounded. Swallow Just blade. stay calm. Oh, oh, still rising weapon. Don't let well, them form a pack. We're on the home stretch now. Don't take your eyes off the prize. I'm, I'm quite aware without you reminding me. Take this! Here it Swallow blade! Rising wyvern! This! Yes. Fast coming! Talent! I am... It's almost too easy. I'm actually bothered by the fact that, you know... That there's no Don't fight any enemies you can otherwise avoid, all right? Makes sense. If we try to take them all on, there'll be no end in sight. You sure won't hear me complaining. Antidote rock weird stone. I sense a strange power from it. We should gather as many as we can find. Treasure chests. Life bomb. This is... Seems you found something good. Supplies like that are valuable. Never overlook them. Got it. I'll remember that. Let's stop a moment to catch our breath. But I've barely worked up a sweat. Speak for yourself. What do you want, a medal? Doesn't look like we're being followed. Fail to grab these rare moments of quiet when you can. You'll end up regretting it later. You're the boss. Resting at a camper will restore your HP CP while resting. You can watch skits or cutscenes that you previously viewed. Normally, we should take turns standing guard. But this first time, I'll watch over things so you two can rest easy. I've never just sat and watched a fire like this before. It's surprisingly soothing. 
Well, aren't you getting comfortable? You realize there are still Zoogles prowling around out here, right? Ah, don't be a spoil sport. It's important to let your mind and spirit relax. It does you a lot more good than you might think. <sighs> Zephyr, why aren't you concerned about who I am? You feeling left out, son? No, it's not that. But... You said you wanted to fight so that you can live a free man. At this point, that's all that matters. Even if it somehow turned out you were a Renan, it wouldn't be such a big deal. A Renan? Until we know who you are, we can't rule anything out. Besides, we've already got Xion with us. At this point, what's one more Renan as long as they're on our side? So you don't see every Renan as an enemy? Our goal isn't to hunt down and kill all Renans. We only arm ourselves as much as we need to, to set ourselves free. If you can believe it, not every Danon agrees with what we're doing either. Are you saying we have enemies among the Danons? Uh, not quite. They're just not up for rebelling, per se. The thing you have to remember is that everyone has their own path to walk. I'm not sure I understand. That's okay. Just focus on what we have to do right now. However, the time will come when you'll need to decide what to do for yourself. How come you don't have a scar on your hand? A scar? What do you mean? The Crimson Crows all tore off their own spirit course, right? But your hand doesn't show any signs of ever having a core like theirs. Why not? I... don't know. I don't remember anything about myself from before Doc found me. Seriously? You have that mask, you don't feel any pain, and you just happen to know how to fight with a sword? No way. You must remember something. I'm not lying, if that's what you think. Believe me, I wish I knew who the hell I am. No, no. But I don't. It's funny how I didn't have any time for soul-searching while digging up rocks in a mine. Still. Are you saying you've told us everything about yourself? Zephyr. It's bad manners to pry when you've got plenty to hide yourself. <laughs> You're not gonna ask me about my past too? Only when I think it's necessary. You're a real man of mystery, I'll admit. That said, I'm not one to dig around in someone's business just out of curiosity. If you remember something and feel like sharing, you're free to do so. For now, I think that's good enough. Right. Thank you. Well, it's very interesting to see... Well, how do I say this? Uh... At the fact that... I don't know. There, there's gonna be a lot of voice acting in these cutscenes. At least. Like, I wonder how much the voice acting budget took. That's what I'm very curious about. So, this whole you not feeling pain thing, is that for real? Why would I lie about it? And why would you care anyway? No, it's just, you know, I can't imagine what it's like, that's all. As a slave, I'd say it has its advantages and disadvantages. Oh? On the upside, when Ren and soldiers push me around, I hardly flinch. The downside's that I get injured without even noticing. Which means I could be knocking on death's door and not even realize it. Really? Sure. I may be numb to pain, but it doesn't make me immortal or anything. Still, I wouldn't have noticed any of this if someone hadn't pointed it out to me. If not for my fellow slaves, I'd be long dead, lying in a ditch somewhere. It'd be interesting to see how the amnesia plotline works in this game. Alright. I think we're gonna save here and check out- I'm gonna check out the DLC very, very quick. Oh wait. <laughs> wait, oh wait. I, I can't change the DL- I can't get the DLC. Wait, I can't save, so I'm just gonna rest. A Master Core, huh? Now I see. 
So that's why Balsef's cronies were so desperate to catch her. Is that what it's called? The jewel in her chest? Oh, right. You don't remember a damn thing, do you? Ah, fair enough. I guess it's time to fill you back in. Tell me, you ever wonder why we Danans are made to work ourselves to the bone, day in, day out? Well, when you put it like that, I always just assumed we were mining resources for them. And don't you think it'd be quicker if they used all that high-powered tech they have? Why go to all the trouble of relying on weak human labor? Listen, what the Renans are really after isn't resources or minerals. It's astral energy. They're harvesting the astral energy that sleeps inside all matter in life forms. And they're doing it the same way they have for the past 300 years, using us Danans as mere siphons. Right. They have machines for minerals, but extracting from Danans requires spirit cores. Any astral energy collected passes through a spirit vessel on its way to being stored in a master core. Ah. Uh. But why go to the trouble of collecting all this energy in the first place? Do they really need all that juice just to use astral arts? It determines the Sovereign. Sovereign? Is that the Renan ruler? Exactly. Five lords, each doing whatever it takes to gather as much astral energy as they can and store it in their master cores. Whichever of them manages to accumulate the most power at the end of their contest is crowned the ruler of the Renan Motherland. So Balsif is one of them. A new crown contest, as they call it, is held every decade or so. So you see, the master cores are the receptacles in which the lords store their power. And we Danans are sacrificed, so the Renans can choose their new ruler. That's insane! You're telling me that's what our people have been dying for this whole time? Relax, hero. You're not the only one who's Indeed. bent out of shape about the whole thing. Yeah. There are two things that I haven't been able to get my head around yet. What business would a Renan have stealing a Master Corps? And what's the deal with that blazing sword? I think the sword is a physical manifestation of the Master Corps' astral energy. As for why it took the shape of a sword, well, I don't know any more than you do. Honest. And that stuff about needing your permission to use it? What was that about? I'm the only one of us who can control the Master Corps to some extent. Without me to adjust the flow of astral energy, the sword can't take a physical form. What do you want out of this? You may be one of them, but you don't strike me as the ruthless oppressor type. I'm going to take down all of the lords. So that's your motive, Vation. Never thought I'd say this, but I like the cut of your jib, Renan. <laughs> Very well. As far as we're concerned, the struggle continues either way. And with that sword on our side, our chances of victory just increased. That is, of course, assuming we can count the two of you in. Fine by me. After all, it sounds like we're after the same thing anyway. I... <laughs> Honestly, I'm still a little confused by all this. But if it's a choice between this or going back to being a slave, then I choose to fight. Then it's settled. Together we'll overthrow the Renan Lords. And first up on that chopping block is Balsef, the wild beast. Sound good? Will we have enough power to take him down? That's the question. Yeah. I'll go tomorrow. I've got to hurry.
We have another secret hideout in Ulzebek, not far from here. We should be able to meet up with our comrades there. I hate camping out. Alright. So our goal is over here. Oh so yeah. I'm going to be turning off commentary for the next episode. So next time on... On Tales of Arise. I'm going to be progressing more into this game. And... Hopefully... I can check out the DLC and what's free or not. So see you guys all next time.